Hey guys, I spent the last month filming this video where I attempted to make money selling used solar panels. I made this stack of cash selling this pallet of used solar panels. The good news is I'm documenting every single step in this video so you can try the same thing if you'd like. I'm predicting it will take three hours to make this much cash if you're willing to do it. If I can do it, anyone can. In addition, I'm trying to give away this test equipment I have in my garage. I'll let you know how to get it at the end of the video. But I hope you enjoy this video. I will see you three months in the past. Hey guys, so I've been wanting to sell used solar panels. And regarding that, I recently said, if you order a pallet of uh, 25 panels, you can make $1,250. So I gotta be honest, I have actually never sold used solar panels myself. That was based on having to buy used solar panels from people that were reselling them. So for today's video, I'm going to go through all the steps from buying them to selling them to see how much money we can make. So before I buy them, I'm going to first uh, check to see if there's a demand in my area before I buy them. And if there is a demand, then I will buy a full pallet of solar panels and then we can resell them and see how much money we can make. Hopefully this will help pay for a solar kit that I'm going to install on my external garage here. So if you want to have some fun, come along. Let's try it out. So Santan Solar is one of the largest distributors of used solar panels in the United States, but it doesn't make sense to buy one or two used solar panels from them. They will only sell them in bulk. A lot of people buy these large pallets and then they resell them to people in their local area. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, hopefully this will be a win-win for everyone involved. It'll be a win for the environment because the solar panels aren't going to the landfill. It'll be a win for the individual people buying one or two solar panels because they don't have to buy new and it'll be a win for me because I hopefully will earn some money that it can help fund another solar project. So the used solar panels I've been using in all my project videos, I bought them from someone who was reselling them in a neighboring city. He made about $50 a panel on those and he said his phone was ringing off the hook people trying to buy them from him. Let's post some ads on the local classifieds in my area and see if there's still a demand for solar panels. But before you do that, let's go to Santan Solar's website and see what kind of panels they have right now. Just recording from my phone here because this laptop has a really bad microphone. So I'm just going to go straight to the pallets. Sometimes they have some pallets that are free shipping, but but when I was looking at those earlier, it didn't they didn't seem like they were that great of a deal even though they had free shipping. These ones are marked down fairly well. So shipping is going to be about $400 for 25 panels usually. I've got another video where I kind of went through the website a little closer, but these are the pallets of panels they have currently. So these are the best deals I've been able to find so far. So these are all pretty good. I don't want the cracked vinyl or the blemished ones. I think I just want a used panel that doesn't have any blemishes or cracks. So here is a Jenko. Now with $400 shipping, this one comes out to be about $103 a panel. And I think I can sell them for just under 50 cents a watt. So I think I can sell these panels for $150, which will give me $47 profit on each panel I sell. Now these ones with cracked vinyl, after the shipping, these ones come out to be about $67. And I think I can sell these ones for $100 a piece, but that's only a profit of like $33 a panel. So I think I want to go with these Jenko panels. I hear good things about these, and I've never tried them. So many pallets they have in stock. So they have six pallets available. So that's good. So I'll post my ad, see how much attention I get. And, um, if we get a lot of calls, I'm going to uh, order a pallet of these. So I'll show you the text on the ad that I'm going to be posting. So I want to be really honest with the people that are buying these from me. If they ask me where I'm getting them, I'm just going to tell them Santan Solar. They'll have to buy a whole bunch of them if they want to order from Santan Solar though. But I plan on having these panels arrive just over two weeks from now, if everything goes well with this ad. But I'll show you the text I have for the ad. So this is what I'm going to say in my ad. Uh, I buy you solar panels in bulk and resell them. These are black and black solar panels. They should be available for pickup November 14th. Um, 
please let me know if you'd like to buy some and I will call you when they arrive. These are tested and in good working order. Can verify when you pick them up. Yes, I'm gonna be testing them before I sell them. But if you test them when they arrive at your house, it's my understanding that if you have any bad ones, you can just send them back or broken panels. Hopefully I won't be getting any of those. Uh, size is roughly 62 inches by 39 inches, 325 watts, very high watts for the size. These would be great for your RV, solar shed, or for an emergency solar generator power station. Two of these will keep your fridge running if the power goes out. Sandtown Solar said I could use the images when I sell them, so I just right clicked on the image and saved it to my computer. I'm going to use that in my classified ad. When they show up, I'm going to take pictures myself and then I'll use the pictures that I take. So Craigslist isn't super popular around here. We've got a local one in Utah and Idaho called KSL. It's a, like a news website. It's really popular for people selling things. So I'm gonna post it on Facebook Marketplace and then KSL Classifieds. Hopefully I get a lot of calls. So we'll fast forward in two weeks from now. I'll jump back on here and I'll let you know how everything goes. Two weeks later. Hey guys, welcome back. It has been officially two weeks. So I'll show you the play-by-play, -play, how everything went with with how many messages I got from people. But this is the interest I have in my area. Wednesday was the first full day that the ad was posted. So I posted it for $150. And I did get a message on Wednesday. A guy messaged me and said, hey, how many panels can I come pick up? And I said, I don't have the panels yet. I'm planning on ordering them and having them arrive on the 16th. Are you still interested? And he just didn't message me back. But when they come, I'm going to message him. And then on Tuesday, I received another message. And I, I told him they're not, they're not available yet. Do you want to wait? And he didn't message me back either. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is Thursday. And then Friday, I received two messages. And one of the people said, can I come pick them up this afternoon? Two of them. So I'm going to mark this down for two. So I would have sold two on Friday. I, I, I think that's a legitimate sell. You sell things on Facebook, you get a lot of messages, but no. A lot of people ghost you and they don't reply. So I'm not counting these as sales. Uh, Monday, I did receive one message, interest, from someone. And I told him, you know, they're not available yet. Tuesday, I got, started getting a little bit nervous because it had been a whole week and I had only sold two panels. So I was a little bit nervous. So I went on the Santan Solar's website and I noticed that they had reduced the price of my solar panels. They reduced it $400. And so that I think that made it like $15 cheaper per panel. So I reduced my price for $15 per panel as well. And Facebook has a way to promote your classified listing. So I promoted my listing on KS on Facebook for like $10. I think I'd spent $30, promoted it for three days. That didn't really do a whole lot. But anyways, on Wednesday, I received a message from a guy and he said he wanted to come, he wanted to get three of them. I'm just gonna mark that guy down for buying three. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I got a message. On Sunday, I didn't get any messages. And then Monday, I got a message from a guy who said he wanted to come pick up three. So I'm just going to say I sold three here. So in two weeks, I'm pretty sure I would have sold eight panels, maybe more. So that's good enough evidence for me to go ahead and buy the solar panels. I'm not going to be in a super big hurry to sell. I'm just going to put them like on the side of my house. I might have a place in my garage where I can store them. So I'm going to take my ad down between now and when they arrive. And then I also, I'm gonna go to local RV Facebook groups, or there might be some like prepper Facebook groups where I'm gonna post the ad in there. I'm gonna, or I'm just gonna message people in there. Hey, I've got some solar panels if anyone's interested. I think I could sell some that way as well. We'll tell you how that goes. But the total for my order with tax, it's $2,161.25. Check back with you guys when they arrive. So what is December 5th? I just got a call from FedEx. They said that the solar panels are coming in like any minute now. They said once you order, it's even like it's 10 days about before the carrier picks it up. And then it's a few days after that. So the shipping's not super fast for these. But December 5th, I've cleaned out my garage. So I've got a spot for them right here. Should be arriving any minute. Hopefully I don't have any broken panels. I'm running a test right now to see which one of these charge controllers is most efficient. That should be posted pretty soon. All right. Oh, yeah. Three years with FedEx. 
at a minimum you'll want to definitely look at each solar panel make sure the carrier hasn't bumped or cracked any of the solar panels using the forklift if so you can send them back and Santan will replace them from what they have told me all these panels look good though So black on black, that looks pretty good. Okay, I want to make sure I'm not going to sell anyone bad solar panels, so I'm going to test every single one. This is how I'm going to test them. So basically, I got my little volt meter here. Set that to DC volts. All right, 39.1. I'm going to just write that on my sticky note here. So I'm going to test a short circuit current as well. So basically, you just plug it in. Plug it in, set your amp meter to measure DC amps, then just make sure you zero it before you clamp on top, before you clamp it. So that's 8.7 amps. So I'm just going to do them all really quick and we'll see if any are broken for some reason, we'll see if any stand out. Okay, so it's been about an hour. I've got six solar panels to test. I don't think I'm gonna test those solar panels. This is actually taking a really long time. It's very annoying. Um, and I think the people that come over, they'll probably wanna test them anyways. So I don't think I'm gonna test them in the future. All of them tested pretty much the same. I might have angled this one a little bit towards the sun when I set it on the chair. I'll just check these real quick to see if any are cracked. You're setting these up for a portable power station? For your Blue Eddy? Blue Eddy. Okay. Okay, you're six. Good. Okay, we just sold two more. These are going to Isaiah for his van. That's right. You walk across the country and Europe. I walked across this country last year and I'm walking across Europe. Uh, that's my current project, yeah. So who's got a YouTube channel? You do you. That's right. So my family actually went to Mexico during Christmas for a few weeks on an off-grid road trip testing out my RV power station. So we removed the Facebook ads, removed all the ads while we did this trip. But when we got back from the trip January 3rd, I ended up reposting the ads. So these four are for your greenhouse and a backup, backup freezers yeah. for emergencies? Right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have a little ground mount post and uh, going to put them next to a, our little greenhouse I built during the summer. So it's going to heat water up it's to, to keep, keep to water. keep your greenhouse warm. To keep it, yeah. Oh, cool. So that way I don't have to worry about batteries or anything like that. Oh. That's the plan anyways. All right. You got the last two. Yeah, I appreciate you reaching out to me. I Oh, yeah. I was like... I, I, I was, tried to get some from you earlier and then... Build that with just a, a trailer or something. Oh, a little, like a solar trailer. Solar trailer. Oh, yeah. Okay, awesome. So you can see I sold all of them. So on December 6th, I tried to reach out to everyone who had contacted me during the trial ad, and I lost most of their contact information. I only was able to reach out to a few people. So on then December 9th, I officially posted the ad, and the 10th, I sold two, the 12th, I sold four, and then I went out of town to Mexico all the way until January 3rd. And so I didn't have the ad posted during this time. And then January 3rd, I reposted it on Facebook and KSL. And one thing important on Facebook, when you post, they let you join yard sale groups. And when you post the ad, you can also post it to those other yard sale groups in your area. So you can post it to the general classifieds, but then you can also post it to like any emergency prep groups. I only posted it to yard sale groups. So I sold three, four, and I think I took the ad off for just a couple of days because I think Facebook has something odd with their algorithm where your ad just gets hidden after a while. So you have to take it down, wait for a while, and then repost it or have someone else post it. 
because once I posted my ad, it was still really hard to find. And yeah, for some reason. So the 12th I sold to, 20th I sold to, and then the 25th, I reached out to a guy who was messaging me earlier and he said, yep, yeah. he, he forgot to came, come by and then he ended up coming by this day. But by this day, my ad was really stale and I wasn't getting a lot of people reaching out to me. But granted, this is the winter time here. So I think summer and spring would even be a better time to sell used solar panels. Okay, one thing I didn't mention is that on December 11th, someone reached out to me and said they wanted to buy the remaining of my panels for $125 a piece. But if it wasn't making this video, I would have taken it. But that would leave me almost $200 short of my goal for the video. So here's the total. I've just been stuffing the cash in the envelope. Some people paid me with Venmo, but I got a, quite the stash here of money. So this might be almost $3,000. I got to go deposit this in the bank. This is pretty good money. So this will fund some fun solar projects coming up. So thank you, Santan Solar, for that. So I know a lot of us are uh, engineers and we don't really like interacting with people. So it might be kind of hard for you to do this, but so I had a total of eight people come and visit my house. Kind of weird. <laughs> no, it was fine. You get to talk to them, see what kind of projects they're working on. I spent about 15 minutes per visit when they came to pick them up and texting back and forth, I believe. So that's about two hours right there. Pretty much just researching the panels, posting the ad. So I think you could do all of this in three hours. So this $3,000 isn't all profit because I had to buy the solar panels initially. So minus my $25 advertising fee, it's $1,225 for my next solar project. So give it a try and make it happen. I know this is all free content for you guys. It took me a while to make this video over the last three months. So I'm trying to figure out how to make money on this YouTube channel we got here. So I do make money when you guys watch the ads and whenever I feature products and you buy things through uh, Signature Solar or another company, I get a little money using those affiliate links. So I'm trying to give away some of the stuff to you guys here. And so I've got this extra test equipment that I've been using in my projects. If you order something, like if you order some solar panels from Santan Solar or something from one of the other affiliates I have like Signature Solar, Current Connected, anything non-Amazon, email me and include your order number. I will include you in a raffle. I'm gonna try and do videos every Thursday and I'm just trying this out and I'll pay for it to be shipped to you guys. But I imagine the first few raffles, I'm only gonna have like one person or two orders, maybe. So with my next palette of Santan solar panels, I'm going to put them on my roof out there. I'm gonna eliminate my power bill every month. So that should be a fun video. Uh, subscribe if you wanna see that or check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.